I'm Mark from ereplacementparts.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the throttle trigger on a Ryobi trimmer. The throttle trigger is part of the handle assembly on your trimmer. It attaches to the throttle cable and allows you to open and close the throttle on the trimmer's engine. It's possible that because of its purpose and its location, that the throttle trigger can become damaged by either wear or by accident, at which time it will need to be replaced. Replacing the throttle trigger is easy to do, and I'm going to show you how. Throttle triggers, as well as many other parts, can be found on our website. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the accessory from the motor shaft. The handle assembly is secured with five screws plus one anti-rotation screw. I'll split the two halves by removing those screws. Now I'll remove the trigger and the trigger spring. Now I'll install the throttle trigger. The alignment between the trigger and the throttle cable is important. The end of the cable has a Z shape to it. You need the fat part of that Z, or the part that's in line with the cable, to be on top of the trigger. So I'll align the trigger with the throttle cable and slide it through. And again, I just need to make sure that this fat portion is on top of the trigger when it mounts into the handle. Now install the throttle trigger spring. It wraps around the back of the throttle trigger, lines up with the hole on the trigger, and then drops into the housing. As I slide the trigger and spring down into the housing, I want to pull the spring back so it fits just in front of the plastic rib, like that. Now I can install the other half of the throttle handle. I just want to make sure that everything's aligned, the spring, the throttle trigger, and the throttle cable up against the shoulder as I slide the two halves of the handle together. I'll go ahead and secure the handle with the five screws. Now install the anti-rotation screw for the trigger handle assembly. There's two holes on the shaft that you can choose from you need to use the one that's closest to the engine. You'll know you've selected the correct anti-rotation screw location when the gap between the back of the handle and the clamp on the shaft is about a quarter of an inch. So I'll line that up and install the screw. And that's all it takes to replace the throttle trigger on your Ryobi trimmer. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up or leave a comment. <laughs>